let's talk about rationalizing monomial denominators. Remember that i is the square root of negative 1. This is important to remember if we get an i in the denominator. If i is equal to negative 1, the square root of negative 1, then we can rationalize it by multiplying by i. This will get rid of the radical in the denominator and also make it easy to figure out what the actual value is. In example 1, we have 5 plus 3i over 4i. If you think about it, this isn't good because we have a radical in the denominator, even though it's kind of hidden underneath the i. It's kind of like having this. It's kind of like having 5 plus 3i over 4 times the square root of negative 1. And this is bad because, as you recall, we don't ever want radicals left in our denominators. So, to get rid of them, we use this trick called multiplying the numerator and denominator by i. When you multiply the numerator and denominator by i, it's like multiplying by 1 which hasn't changed the value of the fraction, but only the way it looks. When we do this, we have to remember to distribute the i to both pieces in the numerator and in the denominator. 5i plus 3i squared in the numerator and 4i squared in the denominator. This is great because now we know that i squared is negative 1, and we can put that in place of i squared. 4 times negative 1 is simply negative 4. So let's go ahead before I get the cart before the horse and rewrite this fraction in a much simpler way. 5i plus 3 times negative 1 all over 4 times negative 1. Simplifying this further, we get 5i minus 3 over negative 4. And that's as simplified as I can make this rational expression. In example 2, we have a similar situation. We have an i in the denominator, which as I said before, means the same as having a radical in the denominator. And so we have to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by i. When we do this, we have to remember to distribute to both terms in the numerator. We get 2i minus i squared all over negative 3 i squared. When we do this, we can simplify wherever we see an i squared. We can substitute in a negative 1. So now I have 2i minus a negative 1, and I'll just put a parenthesis there for now so we don't forget to throw that in. This allows me to rationalize the denominator without making a lot of mess. We have 2i plus 1 over 3. And that is as simplified as I can be with this fraction.